In this video, we will be covering the dealer portal. The dealer portal has a lot to offer. You have access to order invoices, pricing with part numbers, shipping information, warranty claim status, along with other useful resources. Let's get started. There are three different ways to set up portal access. We could assign an admin to your company. You can call in to set up an account or you can self-register online. To register online, go to lcm1.com. In the red banner at the top of the page, click on Business Portal. Next, scroll down and click on Dealer Login. If you are new to Lippert, select Request a Business Account and fill out this form to set up an account. You will need an account before you can request portal access. If you already have an account, but you do not have portal access, select Request Portal Access and select Sign Up. Once you have access to the dealer portal, type in the email address and password to log in. The first menu option in our navigation is My Users. This is a list of anyone that has contacted Lippert by phone or email from your company. If you are an admin of your company, you can add, modify, or deactivate your employee contacts. You can select the new button to create a new contact and add details. If you would like a contact to be part of your dealer portal to where they can get in and see all the information, check mark the active dealer community user. The community name will be their email address with LCI at the end of it. This doesn't change their email address. That is just our way of knowing that the person is part of the community. If the contact leaves the company, select inactive contact and uncheck active dealer community user to take them out of your contacts for the company. We don't actually delete the contact. We just inactivate them because we have to keep all the cases and orders tied to that contact. To edit an existing contact, select the arrow and then edit to pull up the contact information. The next menu option is Invoice. This shows a list of part orders that you have placed through our call rep or online store. In the columns, you will see Invoice Number, PO Number, Order Number, Ship Address, Posting Date, Total Amount, and the sell to customer. If you see a PO that starts with 60,000, that means it's an online order. Clicking on the invoice number will show you more information for that invoice. You will see part numbers, part description, part price, tax, shipping, and an area that will pop up with an invoice that you can print off or save as a PDF. If there is no line item, that means the order hasn't been posted or hasn't been invoiced yet. With this invoice visible, you can now select the print or download option. You can also quickly find an invoice by simply entering your PO number or Lippert sales order number in the top search bar. You can then click on the invoice number to navigate to the invoice details. Our next menu option is order detail. This list will show you PO number, order number, order date, requested date, the expected ship date, bill to customer, the sell to customer, and the ship to name. The expected ship date is not a guaranteed date. Now on to our next menu option, package detail, that is used for tracking information. This list will show you the package name, PO number, tracking status with how it was shipped out, whether it was UPS, FedEx, or freight, the ship date, and the order number. Line items can have the same package name, but have a 1.0 or higher at the end. You also see that they have the same order number. That means that there was more than one package that went out for this sales order. If you click on the tracking number, it will automatically take you to the UPS website. Now keep in mind that this is a training account, so we're not going to see any tracking information in here. As long as the order was shipped out within the last month, it's going to show you when it was delivered and who signed for it. 
The next menu option is warranty payment status for checking on warranty claims that have already been submitted into our dealer claims department. In this list, you'll see the case number, which is the case number that we assigned, warranty item name, the status of the claim, the dealer name, and the payment date. You can click on the warranty item name to see more information. This is going to have five tabs across the top for the claim status. When the claim is first submitted, these tabs are going to be in yellow as the claim progresses and green when completed. The checkboxes below show if any actions are needed, such as a W-9 that is needed to be sent to our dealer's claims department. You also see VIN information, warranty payment information, and denial information. The next menu option is for the Gold Circle program that you can sign up with our sales rep. The next menu option is for the store where you can buy parts. If you click on this, it will take you to the store where it will already have you logged into your account. You can shop by department or you can also shop by typing in the part number or description into the search box to find the part and show pricing. You can use quick order for multiple part orders to add it automatically to your cart. When checking out your cart, You'll have your pricing in there and also sales tax exempt. If you are not sales tax exempt in your cart, but you are on your account, then let us know and we'll get it corrected for you. The last menu selection is more, which contains a few options. You have the My LCI app, which you can download that provides product information, technical documentation, and videos. Training events, which takes you to the Technical Institute training calendar, support documentation, which takes you to the support site for documentation and technical videos, and catalogs and literature, which takes you to the Media Center for sales catalogs, brochures, product information, and logos.